welcome back to Celeste Podcast. What's up? All right, Ben. Let's let's get out of here. So go up, go upstairs, and go to the right. And you need to go down. Probably talk to that guy, maybe. No sign of Sephiroth, but he went in here. Um, the little red triangle kind of gives it away. So yeah, you go down there. It's a hidden door, quote unquote. Oh. Uh, go on, go down the little spiral wooden bridge. So you know, we've been talking a lot about comics. Yeah. The last few episodes. For everyone else, it's been like a week of comic talk. Yeah. For us, it's been like 40 minutes. An hour? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I have a question for you, Mike. Yeah. So, uh, up until this point, I have never played a Final Fantasy. Yes. I'm finally playing a Final Fantasy because you talked me into it, and I thought, you know what? You're right. This will this will be great. This will this will <laughs> be something that we need to do. And there's a platinum trophy that looks fairly easy to obtain. Very attainable. Yeah. Yeah. So. I missed out on Final Fantasy. Yes. Are there any games out there you think you missed out on? Oh, there are a couple, and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't made a list. And generally, I do think I have an idea of the game. Like I've played one at some point, but I haven't. I've never sat down and played through a whole thing. Um, the first one that comes to mind is probably Dragon Quest slash Dragon Warrior. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a game that's very usually put right next to Final Fantasy as far as like this long running, really great JRPG series. But I've never I've never sat down and just played a Dragon Quest game. I probably should. All right. Um, I would say Fire Emblem's another one, but I Ooh. I have played some Fire Emblem. I think we've talked about it before actually on the show. Yeah. I have played some Fire Emblem, and I just don't. I'd be definitely be willing to give it a shot, but Tactics games in general have never really gelled with me. Uh-huh. The, only, the only one that I loved was ta- Final Fantasy Tactics. Every other one I've tried, I just kind of I play it for a little while and I put it down. And it's like, eh, it's fine, <laughs> and that's all it is. And I have like that happened with Fire Emblem as well. Um, but I would I wouldn't mind trying a more modern Fire Emblem, like one of the newer ones, and see how I feel about it then. Because yeah. I played like the original Fire Emblem, like the first one, so it was definitely like old and it was classic and everything. All right, I'm, I'm um, missing something. Are you? Um, did yeah. you already talk to Sephiroth and everything? Yeah, he said leave me alone. Yeah, then you just leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're good. He's getting upset. Ah. He's doing Sephiroth research. Things. He's trying to learn about the monsters and the experiments on the, the soldiers with the Mako. Um, effectively, I want to try and word this in a way that's what you would know right now if you read into everything the right way and the translation was all perfect, but not give away anything for later. Um, he's basically realizing that he is one of those monsters, but he's like the the one that worked kind of thing. Gotcha. Because he was always told that Genova was his mother. Uh-huh. And that's what he thought. Like he thought his mother was just the, like dead person, pretty much. Right. Now he's realizing this Genova is like this alien, this monster that they have been harvesting like cells from, and then doing tests on people to try and like create super soldiers type of stuff. And he's realizing that that's what he is. He's just, he's like this created super soldier, and he's he's having an identity crisis and stuff. And he's that's what's happening. I see. So, uh, what about you? Is there any aside from Final Fantasy? Is there, I mean, Final there Fantasy was really always Fantasy? the big one. Probably. I mean, it's been around for so long, um, and it's so so many people love it that it it does come up, and it's like, oh my god, you've never played Final Fantasy. Yep, you should. <laughs> um, like, yeah, I've never played a Dragon Quest game, but no one's ever told me right. that I. It's not the same, especially here. I think that I think Dragon Quest specifically is much more Japanese. Like if you go to Japan, that would probably come up before Final Fantasy at the time. Um, maybe maybe like a Chron- Chrono Trigger, Chrono mm. Cross, or I I'll probably say that actually. Um, I've never finished Chrono Trigger, and I think me and Sam actually talked about playing Chrono Trigger. I don't want to do t- I don't want to do two RPG let's plays at the same time. 
or <laughs> yeah. But I think when we finish back seven, might be a little, uh, a little. Well, much. I think when we when I finish F seven, I think I might do Chrono Trigger with Sam. Right. But then I'll have other games on the on the second as the second game that we'll do alongside. Right now we only have one game, but yeah, I want to do two games alongside each other, and I think doing an RPG and then do a couple smaller games throughout the RPG, I think will be fine. Um. Once I finish this, I'd, I'd still really like to do uh, Last of Us. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm definitely down to do Last of Us. Spoilers. We're going to do Last of Us at some point. At some point. Um, yeah, I think Dragon Quest is probably the big one, I think, for me. That's one I've, I've really been told I would like. Um, Star Ocean is one that... I don't know why I'm thinking of RPGs. Star Ocean is another game that I've been told I would love, but I never just... I just never had an inkling to play it. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess the big one for me also is uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, but that's not one... I think you've played it. It's not like we haven't played it. No, no. And but we I, are in the minority never, that we just don't like it but in the very same, much. In the same vein, you've been saying, I've never finished these games. Right. Okay. I've never finished a GTA. Okay. Because I don't like them. Okay. I'm the other way then. I, I played through GTA 3. I played through Vice City. I played a good amount of San Andreas. And, a, and I played a couple of hours of 5. And I just... I think that's more than enough of a chance for that game series. And I just... I, I still don't... I don't get the hype. I don't think yeah. it's very good. I think they're cool. I think they... I think Rockstar is an amazing company and they do really cool things and interesting things in their games. But what GTA is doesn't speak to me at all. I also I think that our big problem is that we don't play it on the PC. You think? Oh, yeah. You think GTA is a big PC thing? I never, I never considered that. GTA is a huge PC thing. Huh. With all the mods that people do with it? That's true. That's a whole different thing. I'm, I'm not even talking about mods. I'm talking about the game. No, mods, it, mods are a whole different monster. Yeah. It is, it is a much bigger thing, I think, on PC than it is on okay. console. That's interesting. Um, it, there's another one. That's a good example, actually. Um, Elder Scrolls. You never... Fall out. Um, I've played some of Morrowind. Not a lot. And I tried Skyrim and did not really fall in love with it. Um, I've also played Fallout 3 a bit. I played New Vegas a lot, and I did like that more, but I, did, I still didn't finish it. And I, know, I haven't played 4 yet, but I've... The reception of 4 has gotten me kind of turned away from it. I was excited for 4, and then the things I was excited about turned out not so great. Like, yeah. the, like the settlement stuff. Yeah. Um, that, that was... A shame. It's like I started playing it, right, and then I just I like used to. I enjoyed the Fallout games more than the Elder Scrolls game, mm -hmm. but Skyrim was so great and so See, much I, better. I've never, I've never like cemented that. Like I don't like Skyrim, but um, back in the day when I was super poor, which is not necessarily not right now, but. When I downloaded the games and stuff, I had downloaded a copy of Skyrim and tried oh. it. But I wanted to try. I like. I, I was excited for the game. I thought it looked really cool. I wanted to try it out, and it just didn't run very well on my computer. So I didn't go very far. Like I was like, I can't. I can't keep playing this. It's the frame rate's low. Like I can't block anything. Like it's just. It's not fun. So I. I stopped. I haven't played it since. I've wanted to pick it up maybe on like PS3 and play it because then I know it's gonna run the way right. it's supposed to, and I still want to. I still want to give Skyrim a shot, and if another one comes out before I get to, I'll play that one, like Elder Scrolls Six, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But because I think Hopefully that's a game, that's a game I should love. <laughs> like the Elder Scrolls series looks like is exactly the kind of game I would want to play. Yeah. It might be a little too open world for me, but it doesn't. You, you can kind of limit yourself. It doesn't have to be so open that there's too much to do. Um, and I think that's where I'd want to be. Um, but yeah, that, that there's another one that I'm like, eh, it kind of passed me by. I didn't really. Oh, she picked up the sword and yep, started she did. Big ass katana. Oh man, 
I'm amazed that we we're going through like the whole flashback, and I'm not even like really watching it and talking about it because we're talking about <laughs> comics and video games and stuff. <clears throat> but um, that's because we'll be back here later. Oh yeah. The flashback. There'll be more to this flashback later in the game. Oh no. Hint, hint. Oh. This is where that wish on top of the well comes back around. <laughs> Dick was supposed to come and protect her once he became a soldier and was in the newspapers. Oh, man. I, love this, I love this part of the game. This isn't even the best part. Oh. Sephiroth! He's pissed. Um, um, oh. He's pissed. Interesting. Oh man. I'm about to get another cutscene too. Oh boy. This music's so good too. It's... You know that shit's going down when you hear this music. Let's go to the promised land. Bum, bum, bum. I can't wait to see this kind of stuff in the in the sequel, like in the remake, because with these sprays and stuff, you know, Sephiroth like before this and Sephiroth now they kind of going crazy. Not really that much of a difference. It's all in the dialogue because that's all you get, right? Right. But when they do the remake and he's got like a model and he can be like this kind of heroic figure for the whole first part of this flashback and he's saving you in the fights and stuff and being a badass. And teaching you and then he starts learning all this shit and he just starts he starts slouching more and he gets a little more like crazy in his in the way he moves and things and like the way he talks like oh I can't I can't wait like I can't wait to see that <laughs> and there she is Oh, that's kind of scary looking. Yep. So angry. And sad. <clears throat> yeah, so he's done all this research about what Genova is. And, um... I'm trying to remember how far they've gone into the history of it, but basically, basically, Genova is an alien that crash lands on Earth, and yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> but it's like there were the ancients on the Earth, right? They're like the ancient humans, right? And then, there were, then there was Genova, and Genova landed on Earth, and People assume that Genova is an ancient, but really Genova is an alien, and they were kind of at odds with each other. But now Sephiroth thinks that he's an ancient, and he's the son of Genova, and he thinks like, that makes him this really special like thing. And he's like chosen by the gods to do to do something specific right. for the Earth, and <clears throat> he has a. I guess it's a god complex, kind of. Kind of? Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't call it a god complex, because he knows he's not, like, god. But he's like, I'm the best thing next to god. So it's my job to do this thing. I don't know. You still don't know what his plot is yet, either. You just know that he's out there somewhere. And this is like seven years after the flashback. Right. So like, so he's something, like he disappeared somewhere and he's been gone all that time and he just kind of showed back up when you were in Shinra Tower. Man. This was like an information overload this, yes. uh, this episode of... 
Let's play podcast. <clears throat> you're getting into the, all the exposition at this point, and now you're moving on and continuing gameplay stuff, right. which is I'm there, sure is fun for is all there the viewers. A safe point here. Um, you're gonna leave the town right now, and you can save right. on the on the world map. Yeah. So the PHS, I don't know why they call it a PHS, but it's a cell phone. <laughs> it just means that when you're at a safe point or on the world map, you can call the other group and you can change party members. <laughs> That's oh. all it is. Alright. Okay. So yeah, right. go ahead and walk out there and save the game. How many episodes were we just in there? Probably like probably like three or four. Yeah, so, yeah, sorry yeah. guys about all the exposition and then comic and video game talk, <laughs> video game talk on top of the exposition. Sorry, but, I'm not uh, sorry. But now we're gonna go and like do stuff like get chocobos <laughs> and yep. and do fights again. Um. So yeah, see you guys next time on Let's Play Podcast. Yeah, have a good one.